was the idea of a revolution in the first place? Exactly, okay, just yeah. to define, define revolution. <laughs> yeah, well, how do, what do we define as revolution? I think it's a, it's a sudden and violent change of system and structure. What if it's not sudden? Then it's not a revolution, then it's a process, then it's a change process. Yeah, it's but, not a revolution. Yeah, but you can always redefine what something revolutionary can always be. It, I think it's more or less an act of, it's an act of will. Yeah, so it, it, I think duration for me doesn't really matter. Revolution can take a really long period and be very silent. Revolution can be very sudden. Yeah. So time for me it within the revolutionary term is not important. It's about the act of will. Yeah. Yeah. That is more important. You can do something within a short term but it might not live long if the will isn't really there. But then even longer term if the will is really strong it can drive a lot. That's very interesting. I think we have different vocabularies right? <laughs> <laughs> different terms for different things. Yeah. <laughs> And I think it depends a lot on if you have uh, lived, uh, if, if you have experienced revolution in your life. Because I have experienced very abrupt and Where? sudden and very aggressive. Where did you experience that? <laughs> in Romania. Okay. Um, when I was just leaving high school. And then I yeah. So you're from yes. Romania? Yes. Okay. And then the revolution just uh, started and it was, it was very. So this is probably where my conception lies. Okay. Uh, and I tend to think, because anything else I look at as a process, a progress process. So I have this label for that. But actually, I actually totally accept what you said. But sometimes there are yeah. some things that have been called revolutions in the past that have been called revolutions. Yes. Yeah. They've just been labeled, yeah, labeled as revolutions because people, you know. Yeah. I think the most important.